Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before watching this video, please be seated with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Here is the question. A cylindrical furnace has height capital H and diameter capital D, both 1 meter. It is mentioned a temperature 360 Kelvin. The air gets heated inside the furnace at constant pressure P alpha and its temperature becomes T equal to 360 Kelvin. The hot air with density rho, according to the figure, as a result, atmospheric air of density rho alpha equal to 1.2 kilogram per meter cube. Pressure P alpha and temperature T alpha equal to 300 Kelvin enters the furnace. Assume air as an ideal gas. Neglect the variation in rho and T inside the chimney and the furnace. Also ignore the vis viscous effect given the acceleration to gravity G equal to 10 meter per second square and pi equal to 3.14. In this paragraph contains two uh, sub questions. There is A, considering the air flows to be streamlined and uh, steady mass flow rate of air exiting the chimney is in, fill in the blanks, uh, in gram meter per second. And question number second, when the chimney is closed using a cap, at the top pressure different delta P develops between the top and the bottom surface of the cap. If the changes in the temperature and density of the hot air due to the uh, stoppage of the flow are height than the value of delta P is in Newton per meter square. This question is asked J.E. Advanced 2023. Dear students, this question is most controversial question of J.E. Advanced 2023. But I am not interested to following that controversial. But I am uh, telling you one thing. I am taking the reference of the books, Compressible Fluid, the writer's name, that is A. H. Shapiro and Sonin. So therefore, according to my view, I am giving the solution of this question. Here, first of all, we have to understand what the question says. Here, they have given that furnace, its height is capital H and it is connected with the chimney and its height is 9 meter. And here, the air which we have to take in the ideal gas and its density is 1.2 kilogram per meter cube. When it's being to be heated, then you know that very well, its uh, density reduced. So, and it goes to upside, that time we have using that mass flow rate. Okay. So, let's see how we can get the density. You know that. Ideal guess PV equal to RT. NRT generally we have taken and are uh, considered N equal to 1. What is uh, the relation between the density and mass? You know that density equal to mass upon volume. So volume can be written as mass upon density. So in this case here we have to take it from the inside when gas enters in the furnace. That time we have to take in the pressure is PA and mass is M and uh, here the density is a uh, rho a here r that is the temperature that is from the initial temperature that we consider t a now for the second condition for the point two because we have to divide it at the three point at the bottom that is considered one here the neck the point is second and the top that is considered point three now for the second condition that is uh, 2 here m according to laws of conservation of uh, matter here the mass is conserved so therefore m is not changed here the density which we have to find out r is constant and that is t2 okay so divide it this equation first and equation second then p a and uh, that is rho a here p2 and uh, rho because m cancel out 
and R are cancelled that is T A and T two. You can see that here temp pressure at P atmosphere pressure from this total furnace that is constant. So therefore P A equal to P two. So that will be cancelled out here. Rho equal to P A upon T two into Rho A. So here P A. The temperature on bottom side that is three hundred. It is three sixty because inside that furnace is being preheated. That is three sixty, and here the rho a that is given one point two kilogram per meter cube. Here the decimal is removed. Twelve. These are that is thirty and three hundred. Three hundred cancel out. Then rho equal to one kilogram meter cube. So here we get the density one kilogram per meter cube. Okay, clear. Now here we have to using enhanced form of this Borrelli theorem because of from the point two to point three. Okay, so here we have using that is all the energy which is uh, passing through all the gases from point second to point three. That is pressure energy, kinetic energy, and potential energy. That should be constant for everywhere, and the relation. This is atmospheric pressure. You know that atmospheric pressure. This is equal to this pressure P two because here at the furnace all the pressure is the same. But in this case, this pressure and this pressure because we have to take in this pressure that is P three and total height that is a rho uh, and gh that is the sum of this pressure that is equal to this P two. Okay, now we get. Now transfer transposing all the terms now become now here we have simplified and we get here the initial velocity at the point V two considered zero and that is V three we can find out that is two and what is the density initial density that is one point two here one minus one uh, and what is the value of G should be taken ten and that is nine V three equal to two And uh, one point two minus uh, one means zero point two into ten into nine. That uh, two two is a four. Four nines are thirty six. Then V three six meter per second. That is the V three. Okay, but we have to find out mass flow rate. Okay. Now here we are using mass flow rate. That is the velocity, area. And density. Here, the velocity that is six three point one four. Here, the diameter of this uh, furnace that is one, and uh, two square that is four. And density we have already taken that is uh, one kilogram per meter cube. So we get now solving this value two to the four two three the six. Then three by two means one point five three point one four into one. Then we get uh, four point seven one kilogram per second. Now, but we have to ask that in gram second, so multiply by thousand. Remove this decimal. Now our correct answer four seven one zero gram per second. So, it is the answer. Now, when it is capped, capped means covered by a cap. That time we have using the change in pressure delta P. It is kept then here rho A G H P A plus delta T. Now substitute all this value here. That is one point two ten nine here three hundred. That is three hundred and delta T. You know that T is sixty and that is minus three hundred. That is sixty. So here. Twelve, nine, three hundred, three sixty. That here the change in pressure when it is kept than ninety newton meter square. So I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Surely credit for your success will go to your hard work. If my videos are beneficial for you, then I will consider myself lucky. Then I remind you again: if you like my videos, then please like, share, and subscribe. 
that can reach more and more students. Once again, thanks and take care. Bye-bye.